to my website is called Athletes Never Quit. My project is called the Extra Local Group, a group of hyperactive platforms to cover international communities in New York City. My project is the Bleecker Street Bugle, a hyperlocal news website focused on Manhattan's West Village. I'm the founder of NewYorkMother.com, the place where mommy goes to have fun. Each person has five minutes to present, and then four minutes for questions. My company is called Newsfly. Uh, at Newsfly, we are re-envisioning the process of uh, production and consumption of news. We are going to do this through the new method of interactive storytelling that gives users more choice and control about how they experience the story. story. So Oshawa.com is a multimedia site with arts, culture, and news that matters for indigenous youth in the US and Canada. Indigenous people are tired of hearing the same news with the same sad statistics. They're ready for content that's much more uplifting and inspiring. We have a big problem in Belgium. It lasted for 560 days before we had actually a government. People talked about this. They talked about it on their work. They talked about it on, in schools, on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. But there was nothing on the internet. You only had the newspapers. There were no actually sites where you could debate about this thing. Rostock centralizes all these people. My project is a personal finance website for the Indonesia's emerging middle class. In the last five years, there were 48 million people who recently entered the middle class. That number will grow to 150 million in 2015. I report in the neighborhood, and I spend a lot of time there. And you know, sometimes the best opportunity isn't where you live. I talk to nearly 20 small businesses. Across the board, they're all looking for more local patrons. So this gives the power of coupons and discounts and puts it in the hands of local businesses. There's a lot of um, women across the spectrum of personal tastes, income levels, and social status are often trying to find answers to one fundamental question. WTF, what I wear with this, is a space where women can ask their specific style questions instead of their peers answering the questions. And it would be the brands coming in. And and answering the questions with their own products. The woman gets to choose, and really, the power then is with the consumer and not with the brand.